Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to create a shapefile in your ArcGIS Pro document. So when you create your ArcGIS Pro document, defaulted you will have a file geodatabase created. Now this is under our catalog pane. If you don't see this, you simply go up to view, catalog pane. So and if you don't happen not to have a file geodatabase, go to your root folder where you want to store your data, right click, select new file geodatabase, and you could give it an appropriate name. I'll go ahead and delete that since I don't need that right now. So going back to creating our shape file here. So we right click onto our file geodatabase, select new feature class. Let's give it a name and I'll call it park because we're going to outline this park right here. Alias, we keep the same name. Now the feature class type, we have options here. We could uh, select polygon, which we're, we'll use today, a simple line, a simple point, multi-patch, etc. So let's go ahead and click on to polygon. Click on next. Here is where we're going to add fields. So if we want to add like area, name, uh, maybe like a URL, like a link, we could add all that here. So let's just go ahead and add a couple. Let's just say name, and that's going to be a text. And let's go and say area, a double. Go ahead and click on next. Now, as far as the coordinate system, we have that matching our current projection, our current projection here. So we keep that as a default. Click on next. We keep all this as a default. Again with that and finish. So in our file geo database, we have our shape file feature class called park. And as you see, it's added here into our content pane. So to edit this, we're going to make sure we're selected on that. We go up to the top and go under Edit, Create. And the template is going to be Park. Now, these are the different types of uh, uh, tools that we're going to use to create. So we can either do lines or circles. But again, we're going to do a polygon, so we'll click this one here. So let's go and left click to get us started, stretch it out, left click again. And again, I'm just simply just outlining this park. And we can just double click when we're done. And there you go. Now we can go to our attributes by hitting this button here, or we can right click onto our parks shape file and go to attribute table. If you recall, we did add a couple uh, fields here. One's called name, and one's called area. Under name, let's go ahead and give it the name of the park. It's called Mile Square Park. Okay. Area, we could calculate that by right clicking, calculate geometry. Our input feature is park. And we are selecting area, area, and the area unit, let's go with acres. And we'll say OK. And we have the acres. Now, this might be uh, a little bit more than you need, but it's just showing that you can calculate the area. You can attribute the name with the new sheet file that you've created. So anyway, hope that helps. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. And as always, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.